crowning jewel of all our research, the hazard suit. If it's the crowning jewel of all your research, couldn't you have named it something a little more creative than hazard suit? Just saying. Hello everyone, I am Stinking, and today we are back with some more Pokemon Uranium. Now, it has been quite the bit of time between last episode and this one, but I had didn't really have much time to record a lot. But anyway, we're back. I'm adjusting the mic because it's being weird. And we're going to be talking to this guy. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh... We should probably be looking for our dad, who is somewhere, because he has been injured. So... Ah, this looks like the right place. Oh, wait, we have a cutscene. Alright. This is an emergency room. You aren't authorized. Oh, it's Inky and Professor Bambo. Good timing, both of you. Kellen is awake, and has been asking for you. Please follow me. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy boy. And by that I mean dad. And Bambo just teleported? Okay. Inky, is that you? And Theo and Professor Bimbo, too. I'm glad you're all here. We came as quickly as we could. How are you feeling, Kellen? I'm fine. My exposure wasn't all that bad. Cough, cough. I'm not gonna actually cough into the mic, because that would be, like, really bad for all of you. Please, try not to overexert yourself. Some radioactive air has entered your lungs. You need to keep your heart rates down. How can I remain calm when citizens and Pokemon are in danger? Cough, cough. Listen, now that we know more, some more about what we're up against, I've come up with a plan. I'm now positive that this Curie person is the cause of all the meltdowns. If we can take down Curie, the power plants will be safe and we can begin restoration. Of course, that requires us to find where Curie is hiding. Fortunately, Cameron has been helpful on that front. Dad? But he's been out cold ever since he... It seems Cam expected something like this might happen. When we brought him in, we found these documents on the inside of his jacket. He appears to, he appears to have been gathering information on Curie and Urain for s quite some time. Also included was this letter. Ooh, letter! To Keller, the Rangers of Tandor. You know me as Cameron Kane, engineer, private, contractor, and father. However, this is not the truth about who I am. My real name is Cameron Stormbringer. Wow, that's a nice, that's a nice name. I'm an agent of Interpol. Eleven years ago, I was sent to Tandor to investigate reports of dangerous and illegal experiments on Pokemon. In the process of my undercover investigation, I was discovered and the criminal covered their tracks and fled. People died as a result. It has been my single greatest regret. After my failure, Interpol released me into an early retirement, but I never forgot what I had discovered on that island. What you find, buddy boy? Dad was a secret agent? Whoa, that's awesome! He was always a reserved sort of guy. Just showed up in town one day with his kid. He never really talked about who he was or where he came from. So Cam knew more about the explosion from 10 years ago, the one where Lucille lost her life. Why did he not tell me? That's rough. There's more to the letter. Even though I was retired, I will not rest until these criminals were brought to justice. I knew the proof that I knew that proof was still out there, so I became a contractor in the new power plant Epsilon. Using the, co the construction of the new plant as cover, I planned to investigate the site of the ruined plant to prove that what happened there was no accident. Instead, I found something else, something far more sinister. Blueprints and diagrams that detailed the creation of an artificial Pokemon. I was on the verge of having everything I needed to send a report into Interpol when the unthinkable happened. A huge detonation shook the island. That was what I knew this was far from over. I narrowly escaped the explosion on the back of Yatagaru. Uh, from high in the sky, that was when I saw them. A lone figure emerged from the wreckage of the power plant, accompanied by a Pokemon. I recognized the mask that the figure was wearing from the diagrams I had seen. The Kiri interface. Ooh. That's, that's the one! A high-tech device that was made in the labs. Its purpose appears to be some type of mental relay. It transmits the wearer's thoughts and commands to the Pokemon, your aid. A man-made Pokemon built to be a source of unlimited energy. At its full potential, it has the power to split atoms. Dang, that's pretty bad and good if you're using it right. However, in order to reach that potential, it needs to consume a large amount of nuclear fuel. To facilitate this, it has the ability to sense radioactivity and guide your sense. I believe Uranium has, was created on that island, and had remained there for years deep in slumber. It was the arrival of, a, of new uranium fuel on the island that sparked its reawakening. awakening. But Uranium was not alone. This person, I have no idea who they are or what their goals might be. They are in possession of the Curie interface and seem to be Uraine's trainer. Additionally, they seem to, to avoid being seen. They do this by utilizing Uraine's teleportation power quantum leap. However, each time they use this ability, a faint radioactive trace gets left behind. Following these traces, I secretly tracked them across the region for months. The fact that everybody thought I was dead made it easier to stay undercover. I can only imagine how worried Theo must be. But I, uh, much as I care about my son, protecting Candor is more important. Well, that was a lot of words. 
so you just let us all think you were dead? How could you, Dad? I was devastated. I mean, I know it was because you had secret agent stuff to do, but you could have at least set aside anything. Yes, losing Cameron was hard on all of us, especially you, Theo. But while he was missing, he, se he was secretly tra tra tracking Curie. This information might allow us to finally capture them and put a stop to all this. Wow, more more reading. I'll probably speed up this at the end, speed this up at the editing. At last, they seek to settle down at the ruins of Power Plant Zeta, north of Zenoville. It's remote, and the radiation keeps the triggers away. There's a large stockpile of nuclear fuel there, but it's not enough to last them forever. Eventually, they will run out. They will be first forced to move in search of more fuel. The only remaining stash of uranium is in East Sandor. That is where they will move next. I believe it is time for me to make my move. I shall anonymously alert the Rangers before the attack. I uh, and have the nuclear fuel relocated elsewhere. Should you raid get a hold of more fuel, it may re it may be able to reach fully realized form of a command with unlimited destructive power. I must do whatever it takes to prevent that. The Rangers will set a trap for your and Curie at the power plant on the ground. There, they will be forced to reveal themselves. If they manage to escape, then they will flee to power plant Terra again. In that case, I will join the Rangers and confront them there. I was bringing the justice, provided everybody's safe. Cameron Stormberger. Okay, that was a lot of reading. And we're not even done yet. So, that's the end of the letter? Yes, that's it. Although, it's not all that Cam left us. He, he seems to have quite a lot of data gathered about Curie and Uraine. Files detailing their abilities, weaknesses. He seems fairly fixated on it. You're no stranger to that, though, are you, Kellen? Cough, cough. That aside, Cameron's information may prove to be invaluable. Tra to, to invaluable? Well, okay. Included was a tracking signal. Apparently, during the battle with Curie and Uraine, he managed to attack attach a small geolocator to the my rangers are scanning for their frequency now. Oh, and here they are! What do you know? Boss, we traced the tracking signal. It's coming from the west, just like you said. It seems to be originating from deep within the Vinaville hazard zone. So Cam was right. They are inside of Power Plant Zeta. Are the hazard suits prepared? So much reading, I'm starting to like not be able to talk. Wow. Ready to deploy, sir. That's good news. This time, the Rangers will have the advantage. We will track down these criminals and stop them. I wish I could lead this mission, but... Inky. I'm gonna be the big boss! Normally, there is an oath and a ceremony, but time is of the essence. So I'll get right to this point. I'm promoting you to a full Ranger status. I want you to lead this mission in my stead. I'm a Pokemon Ranger, guys! This is amazing! I know that you can do it. You've overcome every challenge in your path. You have all eight badges now. You've become a strong, brave, independent person. I just want you to know, I'm so proud of you, Inky. I couldn't have asked for a better child. I just wish I had been a better father. I hope that I can make it up to you someday, after all this is done. Oh, we just had a little hug. Sniff. I'm so happy Dad's alive. I, I never want to leave him again. But I. But also, I gotta make this Curie person pay for what they did. Kellen, I want to be a Ranger too. Of course, Theo, you can get a promotion for this mission. The more strong trainers we have, the better. Chance at, uh, the, the better chance at taking down Curie. I'll stay here at HQ and provide backup. We'll monitor your position remotely. Professor, we need you in the laboratory. Of course, we're close to a breakthrough on the cure. I just know it. Hey, Inky, we get to be rangers. That's awesome, isn't it? You two have more than proven yourselves. You're at Theo, your actions in standing up to Curie were, well, it was foolhardy, but your bravery was ad admirable. Hey, give it a rest. I just found out Dad was alive and he was in trouble. I couldn't just stand by and do nothing. Dad, I'll make sure your sacrifice is worthwhile. And when you finally wake up, I'll be there to tell you that you helped save Tandor. Let's go! A squad of rangers is waiting at the western dock on Route 07. There, you will take a boat across the lake all the way to Route 08 to the wheat fields. That area is designated the hazard zone, and you will need protective gear. Fortunately, our researchers have developed the hazard suit, which protect you for the which will protect you from the radiation. At the far side of that plant is the road leading to Power Plant Zeta. The tracking signal is coming from deep inside the plant. You will need to become prepared. We don't know what to expect. Let's go then. Bambo teleporting away again. Also, how does our team look for health? Good, 100%. Let's go. All right, guys. We have become a Pokemon Ranger, and that is pretty epic. So now, I think we're going to maybe the final showdown for the story part of the game, and then we'll probably go to the Elite Four, and that might be the end of the game. Uh, so, oh, we're in Beale Beach. Okay, we need our good old mapity map. Uh, no, wait, not radio. We want the map. So, it said 07. Oh, yep, here's 07. Okay, so we just gotta go down. We gotta go down. Oh, I know, I know where we need to go. We need to go to that boat. 
Alright, so the duck should be somewhere around here. Yep, here we are. Finally, Inky. I mean, I got over here pretty quickly. Good, now I think everybody's here. Ready to go, Inky? We're gonna go into the hazard zone. It's gonna be pretty dangerous. Plus, it'll be swarming with nuclear Pokemon. But I'm not afraid. I can handle a few nuclears, no problem. So how about it? You, you all set to head out? Yes, I am. I'm gonna save the world. About time, let's do this. Get on the boat, all of you. I'll explain the mission on the way over. Awesome. This is Kellen to Hazard Team 1. Do you copy? Loud and clear, sir. We're on, the we're on route to the hazard zone right now. Are Enki and Theo with you? Yeah, Enki and me are. I mean, uh, yes, sir. Good. You will need to equip yourselves for this mission. In the boat storage case, you will find the packs of Pokeballs. These are new experimental type of ball that our researchers have developed. They should work especially well on nuclear Pokemon. Wow, we gotta catch some nuclear boy. Nice. Alright. Now there is one more piece of technology that you will need. The crowning jewel of all our research. The hazard suit. If it's the crowning jewel of all your research, couldn't you have named it something a little more creative than hazard suit? Just saying. As you can see, this is down. This is just a prototype. Right now, there are, is only one functional suit. The rest of you can go on this. The rest of you on this mission will be equipped with gas masks and radiation shielding clothing. But the hazard suit is something special. We based it on some blueprints developed in the Hoenn region. It will completely shield your body from radioactive fallout. It contains an air filtration system, and they will even allow you to breathe underwater for a limited amount of time. Also, they include a built-in communicator and geolocator, which will let us at which will let us at HQ track you and communicate at any time. I call it because I'm the protagonist. Oh, we're gonna battle for it, probably, aren't we? Inky, I want you to wear it. I would have worn it myself, but circumstances being what they are, I trust that you'll make good use of it. Well, I guess I was wrong. Aw, uh, I wanted to wear the suit. But I know why he picked you, Inky. You're the better trainer between us. I made both of you honorary rangers for a reason, Inky. I don't doubt you'll make me proud. Shh. Now, everybody, your mission. Infiltrate the power plant and find where Curie is hiding. Subdue them and separate them from the legendary Pokemon Urain so that they can both be brought to custody. This is real. The fate of the region is at stake. You are Tandor's best and brightest. We're all counting on you. Good luck over there. Over and out. Let's go. Yes. Yes, let's, let's touch this weird suit. Yes, equip. I look really stupid. Oh, wait, never. Yeah, I still look really stupid. I look like a little muffin. Hello. I have a muffin, and it's muffin time. Anyway, whatever. We're gonna go out there. Whoa, the air is thick here. I don't think we could breathe without these masks. This is Kellen, Inky, Theo, do you copy? We hear you, boss. We've entered the hazard zone, I think it said. Alright, your target is the power plant to the northwest. You, could, you should start making your way there. Be on your guard. It's like you will be attacked by nuclear Pokemon. Ra my rangers will flank you to keep you safe. Got it. Good luck. Bl Inky, let's hurry to the entrance to the power plant. I'm gonna get there first. What? Okay, sure, you do that. I'm gonna walk my, like, tubby little thingy suit self over here. Alright. Entering our first dangerous patch of grass. No, no monsters. Uh, alright, we got here pretty safe. Hey, Inky, there you are. <laughs> You're being a slowpoke at that thing, but you look pretty cool, I gotta admit. Really? I don't think so. I kinda look like King Zora from Zelda. I, I gotta admit, anyway, I think I spotted something cool. Follow me, but keep quiet. Alright. What's over there? Whoa, what's that? That Pokemon, have you ever seen it before? It doesn't seem like the other nuclear types. I've never seen anything like it. We should try to... Oh, roar, it's roaring. It's a little dinosaur. We gotta catch it. Crap, it ran away. What scared it? What scared it off? I was gonna try to catch it. Uh, oh, hi, guys. Get ready to fight, Enki. Alright. You guys. You guys got nothing on me. Okay, well, in this screen it looks less weird, but like. Alright, let's uh, let's use some acrobatics. Nice XP. Oh no, you have been slashedified. Sorry, Nymphlora. That's a rough one. I'm glad it wasn't me, though. Uh, we're gonna hit that one. Oh, what? Oh, that's bad. Come on, don't die. Okay, we didn't die, guys. We didn't die. We're all good. Alright, we're just using acrobatics, and it's working, so let's do it. Okay, we're getting stronger every time. 
So that's very nice. Yes, Drain Life, please. KO. No? Okay. Wop. Or, oh, that didn't do as much. Okay, so I'm gonna keep using, uh, gonna keep using acrobatics then, since that seems to be doing more damage. Oh yeah, Kowatlith. You have a Kowatlith. That's great. Kowatlith is not to be messed around with. Let's get the higher level one. Come on, come on, buddy. Hang in there. These guys may be nuclear bombs on legs, but we can take them down if we try. Dragon Pulse. Yes. Yes, Kamehameha him. And yes, he is now dead. Alright! Yes, a nice little level up there. Night Slash! Ooh, that's a pretty good one since it's a dark type move. Uh... This is... This is rough. I don't know what to do. Let's see. I think U-Turn can be replaced. Alright! Night Slash has been learned. Oh, and another Arbox. More Arbox! Wow, this is a lot of Pokemon that we need to be fighting. Yes, Dragon Pulse him once more. This is the squad right here. No nuclear Pokemon can stand in our way. Oh, no. Oof, that's a rough one, Kowatlith. Please don't die. Okay, good. That, that really hurt you a lot, though. Alright, let's kill it. Yay! Alright, I think that's the last one. Alright, we have defeated a horde of Pokemon. With only Buddy and Theo's various guys. But yeah, we did it! <sighs> Man, you can't even let your guard down for a second out here. Also, was it just me or were those nuclear types more organized than usual? I guess Urian must be commanding them, so they know we're here. We've lost the element of surprise. Well, it doesn't matter. Kiri can't run from us forever. Let's go get him. And if I see that strange Pokemon again, I won't hesitate to catch it. Uh, haha, no, I'm gonna catch it, because I'm Mr. Protagonist. Uh, experience boost. I cannot sprint to this thing, it's... Oh, hello. Uh, Theo didn't go that way, did he? Because if so, I'm gonna need to pass. Sir. Do I have any, uh, moves that would attack all of them? Does he have Surf? He has Surf. So let's, let's have Centurion up front for story purposes as well as him being really good because he can mega evolve and we'll also have yeah we're this is good this is good hey let me out of the way intruder intruder they have like little intruder thingies okay all right mega evolve let's go all right it's raided here we go hit him with the drain punch Very good. Oh no! Come on, hang in there, Centurion. You got this. Oh no, Centurion is down. Houston, we have a problem. We gotta, gotta, gotta wreck a ball, as they say. Because that's definitely what they say. Nice. All right. Be gone, foul beasts. Alright, we gotta be headed our way out. Alright, we gotta find Theo. Oh, we got another horde bl block on the path, looks like. Well, I'll fight them and probably get back in a sec. Alright, another horde is gone, and we are now on our way. What's down here? An immovable rock, it looks like. Let's... Head on over. Is that Theo? I think that's Theo up there, but like, what's down here? Perhaps it is the little Pokemon? No, no, it is not. Alright, Theo, what you found? Oh, well, never mind. Wild battle. Inky, look, it's that Pokemon again. Wait, Theo, why are you wear why are you wear why do you look green? Is that the gas mask? Okay. It looks like it went between those trees. I'm gonna follow it. We probably should be distracted from the mission, but okay. Ooh. This place. Is it just me or does the air get different in here? What does the Geiger counter on your suit tell you? I don't believe it. There's no radiation here at all. No, don't take off the mask. I can breathe in here without the mask. How is that possible? And can you know what this means? Something has purged the radiation here. And I think I know what did it. Let's head per further inside. Does that little Pokemon have the cure to the radiation? I think it might. 
Here. <gasps> Look at all these dudes. There it is. And there's more than one of them, too. I'm going to catch one of them right now. All right. You should catch one for yourself, too. Heck yeah, I'm going to catch one. Hello, little little guy. Look at him. Hasma. He's like a little nuclear dinosaur. I got to catch this guy. Please don't. Nope. Okay, he died. Okay, well, uh, sorry. Uh, we'll have to catch another one. Uh, sorry. Sorry, we're not trying to make you go extinct. Uh, I got. Don't worry. We'll just. We'll. We'll got. We got you, little guy. Should we just try with the nuclear ball like right away? I think we might want to do that. Ooh, look at this nuclear ball. Let's do it. All right. Hey, little guy. I want you to come with me. Just don't ignore what happened to your friend over there. Just. Just. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, he, I think he was too afraid of that he would get beat up like the other guy. The overcoat Pokemon, it's a nuclear type. They appear in the aftermath of nuclear fallout. They feed on radiation and can clean an irradiated area. Yeah, let's let's call him OxyClean. Because he cleans up the radiation. That's his name now, OxyClean. Thanks, OxyClean. Alright, oh, we want we want him in the area. But anyway, whatever, okay. This is incredible, and we gotta tell Kellen about this Pokemon. This is Kellen, is something the matter? No, but we've discovered something amazing. You're not gonna believe this, boss. Well, go on. Oh, um, it's a Pokemon, a new kind of Pokemon. It's a nuclear type, but it isn't hostile. It's not even radioactive. This is just a guess, but I think it eats radiation. We're in this area inside the hazard zone, it's completely clean. I don't even need to wear my mask in here. Theo, that's dangerous. Put your mask on back. That's what I was saying. Put your mask back on right now. Even if you don't see any evidence, it might still be radioactive. I promise it isn't. We checked with the Geiger counter on the hazard suit. It's totally radiation free. It's bizarre. If what you're saying is true, then you should com this could completely change our strategy. Excellent work, Theo. And key, keep me posted uh, on any new discoveries you make. But remember, our, your primary goal remains the same. If we don't stop curing, we can't begin the restoration process. Your geolocators say you are not far from the power plant right now. It's due north. Curie is here. Find them and end this once and for all. For Tandor. All right. Your dad sure knows how to stay focused on a singular goal, but he's right. It's cool we've discovered this, but we still got a bigger first fish to fry. Let's get moving. All right, I think with this tranquil little area and our new friend OxyClean by our side, and by that I mean in the PC at the Pokemon Center, I think this is about a good time to end the episode. So, if you did enjoy this episode of Pokemon Uranium, please be sure to splash the big on the like button, consider subscription, maybe share this video with a friend, uh... And uh, notify yourself if you want to know when this next gets uploaded. Feel free to join the Discord server. The link will be in the description below. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye!